most of my adult life was in prison because of uh, not committing crime, wrongly accused. So when I got locked up, uh, my whole city, I would say country, half of my country stood up for me. I grew up in a single parent uh, household, just me and my mom, uh, probably grandma, you get support, two uncles. We never really had support, so when you get these type people supporting you, when I got out of prison, I wanted to make sure I give that back to the people. And you know, we started a foundation where we raised $100 million within like two years. Uh, very powerful people from all races, Asian, black, white, uh, Spanish. We put them, we all in a room like this and we take our power and influence and try to change laws from state to state. And I always express to them, I make music. They met me making music. They use me as a trampoline, as the door to be able to access kids from eight to 50 years old. I tell them that I, I'm not a politician. Uh, God put me in this position and I'm going to remain it and hold it as an open door. I use rap as my trampoline to be able to communicate and have the reach that I have. That's what got me in this room with the president right here making music. So I use that as my door to keep activating things. And making it to Ghana is a dream of mine to always be able to come back here and do anything. I don't know what to tell you that you would like or love, but anything that builds, anything that connects the bridge to the young black people where we come from, because we don't know about this. American officials don't really talk to us like that, and just being invited here. Uh, I was willing to stay here all day just to meet some black, strong people that really come from where we come from. So I appreciate you, and thank you for having us uh, today. I'm really, very really excited that uh, my daughter, Jack Romar, insisted yeah. that you should come and say hello to me. And I appreciate that very much. I heard about last night. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and it's happening at a time when a lot of places in West Africa and a lot of difficulties. And here we have, what, 100,000 or something more? No, that's a lot. I can't people even know I was yet. Yeah, coming out to to party, to listen to you and enjoy themselves. Yeah. It's something really extraordinary. We have to thank you for that. Make the best of it by reforging the link yeah. and leveraging our mutual strengths of each other and for each other so that we can elevate the position of black people in the world. Yeah. The, uh, here and o over there in the Americas as well. It's a, it's a very important development for both of us. Yeah. I'm very keen on it and we're doing a lot of talking around the world yeah. to make sure that there's a clear understanding on all our parts of how very, very, very important it is for our, our future that we connect and everything that is built around that yeah. to grow. We will have people with a major talent like you do that helps and that you come here and expose us to the world and expose yourself to the world in that way too. All those things are important building blocks and we have to encourage it and I'm happy yeah. that the results of this year of return program has made more and more and more and more people like you, our brothers, our kith and kin in the Americas are finding their way here to rediscover their links, yeah. reestablish them as well. It's uh, uh, 10, 15, 20, 30 years time, we will see the benefit mm -hmm. of all of that for ourselves.